I'm gonna show you something. What if you could change how you look and instead of looking like this, you could shift to a different camera and go like this. Ba -dum! <laughs> now, what do you think? Is this a better look? <laughs> and what if while you were on this camera, you could press a button and magically shift, like zoom in to a tighter shot? like this. <laughs> How do you like this shot? And then if you wanted to not be quite so zoomed in, you could zoom back out again, Bing, like that. How am I doing this? So number one, I am on Zoom. I'm on Zoom. Number two, I am streaming to restream. So Zoom to restream and then restream is multicasting this stream and it's going pew, out to multiple places. <laughs> so right now I'm streaming on YouTube. I am streaming onto Facebook, three pages on Facebook. I am also streaming onto LinkedIn and I'm streaming onto Twitter. All of these destinations with one go and I'm on a Zoom call. So I could be doing this with a guest. I could be doing this with a whole classroom full of people up to 100 people. And instead of, and let me go back and give you that first part, <laughs> give you that first part, instead of looking like this, <laughs> instead of this, this is, this is the look that usually I, we have. Now, even though I'm set up with uh, a beautiful window, I have natural light, and then I have another light, you can sort of see reflecting off of my hand here. And I even have a reflector over here. So I have nice light around me, but the webcam, you know, this, the, the exposure on the webcam is just not all that great. Like it's, I'm get a sort of a yellowy look on my face and the outside is kind of distant blurry. <laughs> it's just not that great. However, when I go back to my better camera, it ends up looking like this. Now this is beautiful. Like all of a sudden, boom, this looks so much better. This looks like you're watching a film. And because I can switch cameras, I can, for emphasis, I can, you know, if I wanna say something really important, something that you guys wanna pay attention to, I go, now listen to this. And then I say the thing that is super, super important. So pay attention. <laughs> All right, so this is the thing that I wanted to share, and that is this is possible, and uh, you can set yourself up. I've been playing around with different things, and here I am playing around with this, with this setup, and I'll show you, like, I've got a number of things going on here. I have a laptop, and I have two cameras. I have a Panasonic uh, G85 camera, and then I have a Sony A5100 camera. I mean, these are both very inexpensive cameras. The A55, the Sony camera, I bought, mm, let's see, I bought it secondhand. I bought it from somebody nearby off of Craigslist. And I think I only paid $275 for this camera. So, you know, these cameras are out there. They're really inexpensive. And the nice thing about the Sony A5100 is that it gives this very clean HDMI signal so that you have this great clean interface. And this is what it looks like. This is the Sony camera. And so you can get this camera. You can probably pick one up for $300, you know, with a lens or maybe $350 with a lens. So really good deal, you know, or you can go for the Panasonic camera and Panasonic camera is just a little bit better. And you could probably get one of these for, between five to six hundred dollars with a lens, and so if this is these are the kinds of things that you can do. And then I have down here. I don't know if I can hold it up for you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. There it is. <laughs> Just want to be careful because it's connected with a lot of wires. I can. This is uh, what's called an ATEM Mini, and it's a switcher. So I can press button number two here. Bink. And now I'm on this camera. <laughs> and then I go back to button number one and bink. 
I'm back to this camera. So very cool. And in addition to the switching device, I have this, this microphone here, this cool little Rode micro. And I was thinking that I would go live on Tuesday, Tuesday next week on my regular Face the Camera show. And I could go in depth into this setup if you're interested. So if you're interested in seeing this in, in detail, exactly how I do it, say so in the comments. I wanna see your comments. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is, this is thing number one. So this is, you know, instead of, instead of that webcam look, we'll go back to the webcam look. Instead of showing up and looking like this right here, instead of looking like this, this is the webcam look where you kind of yellow in the face and you, you're kind of far away and I have this ceiling over my head and it's just not as good looking. Um, instead of looking like this, you could start showing up on your Zoom calls if you wanna look like more like this on your Zoom calls or even like this, <laughs> looking like this. I mean, notice the beautiful shallow depth of field. Like here, my face is in sharp focus. You can see the detail in my hairline. And then you have this beautiful bokeh background where the tree is like blurred out nice. And I'm because of the blurriness and because of the light coming down over my shoulder, because of all this kind of thing, I really stand out from the background in this, you know, and, and I'm positioned right here so that I'm in front of this greenery. <laughs> so I really stand out here and I, I just like this look. It's a great, great look. And compared to all the other people on the Zoom call <laughs> that you're talking to, this is really unique. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, uh, join me on Tuesday, Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and I will dive into detail on how this works. Basically, just write, show me, <laughs> show me, show me the details. And yes, and then I'll make sure like, and if you, if you want to always make sure that you see all my live streams as they come online, I schedule them in advance. And uh, if you go to YouTube, if you go to YouTube and look for Brad Powell video, that's my channel, my channel handle, and you'll find me and you can subscribe. And then in addition to that, you wanna hit the notification bell, that little bell, just hit the bell. And then every time I'm gonna go live, you'll get a little notification on YouTube and you can watch me there because I'm always among the places that I go live, I go live on YouTube. And if you can't make the live, the replays are there and they will live on <laughs> forever. And so, yeah. So the other thing that I wanted to share was yesterday I went live with this guy from New York City named Ariel Vieira. And if you wanna see the whole interview again, Go to my YouTube channel. It's posted. <laughs> it's there. And Ariel does this really cool thing. He uh, has a series that he calls urbanist.live. And you can go check that out. Just go onto any browser and type in urbanist.live and click it. And it will take you to his Facebook page where he's been making video after video where he goes out just with his phone. He goes out with a phone and he goes live and he walks around the streets of New York City and he takes you on this sort of you are there kind of tour where he meets interesting people, he goes to interesting places, he tells interesting stories. And it's this really cool in the moment live storytelling series that he has created. And he now has a huge following. I mean, he's got tens of thousands of people who are following him on Facebook. Facebook. And then he's got another big crowd of people who are following him on YouTube. So <clears throat> the question, the question that I had for him was, how do you do it? <laughs> like, what are you using on your phone? And how do you just with your phone, go live onto Facebook and YouTube? And he told me the answer. <laughs> and the answer was, he uses two things. He uses an app called Prism, which is a smartphone app. 
And then he also uses Restream to do the multicasting. So the cool thing is that Prism is free and you can download it and put it on your phone. And it's definitely good for Apple phones because I downloaded and tried it out already. And it's on my phone here. And you can, from anywhere, go live with your phone. And then, you know, once you're, and, and you could be multicasting. You can be multicasting. In fact, using Restream, you can schedule your stream in advance. And then you can go live from wherever you are. Like, let's say I wanted to go live, you know, next Tuesday, like I do. And I wanted to do it from my phone because I wanted to be in some really interesting space, you know, outdoors somewhere. And so I could set it up ahead of time. I could schedule it ahead of time. I could tell all my people that this is where I'm going to be and this is this is what I'm doing. So the people could go to the place in, you know, ahead of time and wait and be there. And then I would show up live and I would be, you know, I could be on the top of Mount Washington. <laughs> I could be anywhere that I get a good signal and whether it's a wireless signal signal or a mobile phone signal, and I could be streaming. And because of Restream, I could be doing the multicasting that I'm doing right now. I could be going on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, and there's many other destinations. Like if you're a gamer, you could be going on to Twitch, you could be going on to these other you know, platforms that are built for gamers. There are over 30 choices using Restream. So you combine these two things together, and now you don't need a laptop. <laughs> you don't need a fancy camera. You can do it all just with your phone. And this is what Ariel has been able to do. And he's built up this big following so that now he goes live twice a week. He said he has made over 1,000 live streams in New York City, 1,000. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's phenomenal. And if you want to hear his whole story, uh, go onto YouTube, go look for a Brad Powell video, look for my series, uh, live stream stories. And I, this interview just happened yesterday. So go look for that. Uh, you can, we talked for like half an hour and he told lots of really interesting detail about how he does this, how he does this really well. So really interesting, really fascinating. And if you, if you would like to, um, uh, learn how to use Prism, how to use this mobile phone app, then again, keep tuning in. 